Hi everyone, this is Karen Peters with RenovatedFaith.com and this week on the blog I'll be refinishing a really special piece. It's my grandmother's antique dresser and it's a really special piece because not only is it 70 years old but she used it every single day. She'd stand in front of it and use that top small drawer uh, in the top of the dresser to put her makeup on and uh, had her mirror on top. So it was a piece that she used a lot and as I was going through it, I even found one of her earrings in it. Isn't that awesome? But just a really special piece. So I want to make sure and uh, do a really good job of refinishing it so that it will last for even more years to come. So in this post, I'm going to be giving you some tips on refinishing your furniture. And to do that, I am going to be using Benjamin Moore's Hail Navy. It is a beautiful navy that has a lot of gray undertones in it. I've seen it on, mess. I've seen it on cabinets, on furniture, on walls, on my hands, and it looks great everywhere. It is a gorgeous color, and I really thought that it would be perfect for this dresser. Um, I'll also be giving you some tips on painting furniture with dark colors. Now you might ask, well, why is that different than any other color? Because dark colors can be kind of hard to get a hard, a nice, even finish on. And so I'll be giving you some tips for dark colors and painting with black. And uh, I will be showing you uh, how this beautiful painted dresser turns out. And at the end of this, uh, video you'll see a special touch I'm adding and I'll do another video on it next week to help remember my uh, grandmother and one of the things that she loved doing so thank you so much and I can't wait for you to see how it turns out Here I'm spray painting just the legs with primer. This saves a lot of time versus hand priming the legs and also ends up with a much smoother finish because there's no chance of drips. Here I'm rolling the rest of the furniture piece with my six inch roller. You'll notice I'm using a gray primer and that's because my paint is dark. If I were to use a white primer, then I would have to use more coats of paint to bring it up from the white. 